I'm from Massachusetts and remembered after the marathon bombing that there was a suspect who was, who was in the hospital, had powder、um, on his body, and、um, had guards at the hospital door. Obama came in, I think, the day or two after, and this person was released to, I think, Saudi Arabia. I always thought that he had something to do with the marathon bombing. Do you have details about that, and what's your impression? According to Janet Napolitano,、yeah. remember the、uh, cartoon resolution, the famous three no's no peace, no negotiation, and no recognition of Israel after the 67 war? Janet Napolitano did that before Jeff Duncan in the Homeland Security Committee on the 18th of April, 2013. There was no Saudi individual who was a person of interest, a subject of interest, or was ever going to be deported on terrorism charges. There was only one problem. She was lying. So that's a bold statement, right? Well, how would I know it? I told you I used to work at the National Targeting Center. I had the evidence in my hand. I knew she was lying. And now that person that says she, the Department of Homeland Security said doesn't exist. Is suing Glenn Beck right now. This is an intrusion of Sharia law, slander and defamation, GIBA, which is a capital offense, through the auspices of the Saudi government against an American citizen. The judge just ruled on the 10th of August that he has to disclose his confidential sources. Well, who might that be? And what does a foreign government or a foreign national have any standing in an American to sue a For an American citizen, regardless of what you think of Glenn Beck, he's still an American citizen. <coughs> Al Harbi was a real person, despite all the efforts to the contrary of the administration to erase him. They waited just a little bit too long, and that's actually why I was under investigation the last part of my career under th by three different agencies, and that's why I called a chapter in the book "Invisible Shrapnel." Because when Janet Apollo lied to Congress, she set off the third bomb, and she shredded the lives of a lot of people who were doing their job with invisible shrapnel.